Hello, I'm Leroy. And I'm Elena. And you're watching the Leroy and Elena Show, which you can find here only on the Princess Toy Nerd YouTube channel. <laughs> everyone this is Leroy Jones and I'm Elena Lopez whoo man oh, the Loki show that was definitely something we weren't expecting but it was Leroy it was yeah so uh let's get started <laughs> yeah unfortunately Narky Susie Tiara, Carrie, and Humphrey will not be happy with us because we have beaten them to the review. Even though they did watch the show at the same time we did. Okay, so uh, here we go. <clears throat> now, Loki is... <laughs> look, for lack of a better word, the Loki we know is dead. Yep, he was killed by Thanos. Ugh, stupid space raisin. Well, unfortunately... That Loki's gone. But the Loki we know, however... Ugh. Now, the Loki we're following is a different version of Loki. He's the one who didn't get his redemption arc in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Oh, no, no, he didn't. Okay, so, uh... This Loki's still straight up B.A.D. Yeah. What's it going to take for him to come back to himself? Stop being so mean and angry all the time. And go back to his mischievous, playful self. Yeah. Well, we first, our, we first start off with our <laughs> anti-hero getting busted by the time cops. Yeah, that's a very interesting way. Of putting it. Yeah. But he did get smacked across the face for daring across the officer arresting him. So there. So if the cop pulls you aside, remain calm, do what they tell you, and don't back sass them. Okay? Never back sass the cops. Especially if they're time cop. Okay, so Loki is then taken to the TVA, Time Variance Authority, a place that is, like, so out of time, nobody even knows it exists. Their job is to make sure that the timeline is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. The minute somebody steps out of time, they get caught and sent straight back to where they came from. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Can't have that happening. Oh, yeah. So they catch miscreants and make them go back to where they were supposed to be. Ooh. But what about the Avengers? Like, didn't they cause trouble when they went back in time? And, well, according to them, that was supposed to happen. I mean, Thanos snapping his fingers and erasing half of all life and space? <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen, okay? Believe me. Oh, yeah. So, Loki has a dealings with... The, he has to deal with the so-called time bureaucrats. Ugh. I know, I know. Paperwork. Ugh. Paperwork. Stuff gives me a headache. I mean... Woo! This is why we're doing the show. <sighs> yep. So, we had to go back and watch it again. And this time, Mr. Loki... Look, all eyes are on him. And then we toss in Owen Wilson's character. <laughs> His name is Mobius and Mobius. <laughs> Ugh, couldn't they be a little more original with the names? I think it's very interesting. Okay, so... <sighs> okay. The thing is, though, his job is... Basically, to help assist 
the, the timekeepers and keeping the peace. So he takes Loki aside and they have a chat. And Loki sees visions of everything he had ever done in his life. Including the time he was D.B. Cooper. Yeah. I mean, really? He was D.B. Cooper? I'm pretty sure it had to be him. And he said he lost a bet with Thor. Ugh. I'm pretty sure Thor got stabbed for that. Yeah. So the thing is, so... Uh, what? What is it? Loki sees his greatest downfall when the Avengers beat him. Yep. And he realizes, though, that he's not bad. He just loves to be naughty. Yeah, but sometimes his naughtiness gets everyone in trouble. <laughs> you don't believe me? Then go listen to Tea and Token Thursdays. Oh, yeah. Tea and Token Thursdays is when snarky Susie, Tiara, Carrie, and Humphrey do their show about Tolkien. And uh, not only do they do their show about Tolkien, well, Loki shows up and, inter and interrupts everything. And no matter what they do, they can't kick him out. <sighs> but they do have to kick Neil Moore out because he's a jerk. Ugh, I never like that Neil Moore. He's such a jerk. <sighs> well, well then, I mean, Loki now has some serious reflecting to do. He already knows how his story is going to end. Yeah, when he sees himself being killed by that ugly space grape Thanos. Ew! Space grape! I know. He's ugly. He's like, oh, look at me. I'm going to bring balance to the world. And I'm going to do that by snapping all life out of it. You mean half of all life? Yes. Ugh. That wasn't supposed to happen. And, of course, so uh, looks like Loki will have to get a job working for the time police. Yeah, no way does he want to go back to being snapped to death, literally. Yeah, and then he watched his mom die, he watched his dad die, he watched himself die. Yeah, and it's a good thing he didn't see Thor get all fat and drunk and ugly and playing Fortnite. Ugh, Fortnite. I mean, who wants to play Fortnite? I mean, even though you do play it, I, I play it all the time. Yeah, you're right. But the thing is, though, I am... <sighs> I think I've just about had enough of Fortnite. Yeah, so the thing is, will Loki ever, ever succeed in breaking his bad streak and finally becoming what he was meant to be. Not the god of mischief. No way. But he is the god of mischief. He just needs to not be so evil. I mean, even in the comics, he starts being good-ish. Yep. Come on. Loki was once part of the Young Avengers. <laughs> and we're not going to let him forget that. Not only with that, Loki also became an agent of Asgard. We're never going to forget that. He once ran for president. <laughs> Come on, President Loki. Yep, Loki's my president now. I'm sorry, Mr. B, but no. You can't be president anymore. We'd rather have Loki. Yeah, at least if he's going to lie, he's going to lie in front of us. Instead of behind closed doors like everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. But now the funny thing is. We're pretty sure Loki's going to have to fight himself. Ugh. I can't wait to see Snarky, Susie, Tara, Carrie, and Humphrey tear that theory apart. That's going to be fun. Ugh. Oh, it's going to be fun, though. Okay, so let's keep going, okay? Loki is finally getting his chance to shine. We want to see who Loki is without Thor. Because remember, you can't have Thor without Loki, and you can't have Loki without Thor. I mean, 
Look at what we saw what ha happened to Thor when he went without Loki. Yeah, he got fat and drunk and ugly and started playing Fortnite. Ugh, I know. What a pain in the, in the butt. Yeah. Ugh. I know, right? Yeah. And then you have on Wilson's character. I'm pretty sure they're going to be partners. Yeah. <laughs> like, come on. We we can use another buddy cop movie. Yep. And it's going to it's going to have the buddy copness of Falcon and Winter Soldier and the wackiness that was Wanda Vision. Oh, which we totally must do a review on because Ugh, yeah, we went and watched that show. Ugh, can't believe it was Agatha all along. Yep. It looks like Tira's gonna have to do another song parody like she did for Agatha all along. Yeah. And it has to be Lord of the Rings related, too. Ugh. I wonder why she didn't do one for John Walker. It's not my Captain America. Yeah. Like, I don't like it. I mean, I don't like John Walker. I mean, no one was supposed to like him. <laughs> he he just wasn't the right guy. When, when Loki, however, the Loki we're going to follow from now on, he's probably going to be called, he, what he, what his other self is doing is causing so much trouble, it's going to lead to Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Yeah, the Multiverse of Madness. Which Loki will probably be featured in. And not only that, there's rumors that Loki could appear in Thor. Love and Thunder. <sighs> Love and Thunder, yeah. Come on, Loki promised that the sun will shine on him and Thor again. That means they're going to meet. Yeah, Thor and Loki need to meet again. And if they don't, I'm going to be mad. Because... Have, having them never meet each other again, that's, that's pretty neat. Oh, don't worry. When they meet, it's going to be for real. Yeah. And Loki, he, he's better off in a world where he can be himself. Not have to fit into any role that's been forced upon him. And keep him away from ugly space raisins like Thanos. Yeah, let Loki be Loki. Let him be cheerful and playful and mischievous. Not make him be mean and nasty. Yeah. Uh, so there's all these rumors about Loki having to fight himself. Yep, and there's also rumors that he could be in the Young Avengers. Oh, he's definitely going to be a Young Avenger. Because if he's not, then uh, it'll be a shame. Yeah. Besides, Loki was... Loki had thought, had assisted them. I mean, turning himself into a hero. Yeah. Like, at the end of the third season of Loki, he's going to go out with a bang. And then he's going to turn... Or, then he's going to come back as... Little kid Loki. And then we're going to have to get teenager Loki. And then he's going to go back to being grown Loki. And this time, hey, did Loki ever redeem himself? Oh, yes, yes, he did. Oh, but he has to start all over again. And this time, he doesn't have Thor to guide him. Or Frigga. Or Odin. <sighs> I know. Still mad Odin for the way he treated Loki. Oh, uh, yeah. About that. Yep. Welcome to the exciting world of Norse mythology, where Loki had done some pretty weird things. Like, Loki had way too many wives. Scores of children. He would sometimes he disguised himself as a woman and hooked up with men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to repeat that joke on their show. Yep. And Loki's like, I am a massive little 
Martin says, and I might be a mom. Yeah. You know, there was this one fan comic where Hella says, Neo. And Thor's like, oh, oh my gosh. And Loki's like, ugh. And then Hella's like, mom, mom, I didn't mean to mom. I was just kidding. Mom, mom, I didn't mean it. Uncle Thor, no. And then Thor's like, sorry, Hella. I can't stop your mom from being mad at you. Ooh, imagine hell I got grounded and sent to her room without any supper. Yeah, that would be a whole lot better than what we got in Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, that's just an excuse to get more Jeff Goldblum. Uh, do we really want more Jeff Goldblum in the show? Yes, yes we do. So, all in all, so, all in all, the first episode of Loki, it gets 10 Lokis out of a possible 10 Loki. <sighs> Anything less than a 10 out of 10, and Loki will come after us, so we need to placate him. Yep. Oh, and uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in to our podcast. I'm pretty sure Snarky Susie and Tiara and Carrie and Humphrey will be going into further detail about Loki when they do their show later on today. And if you like this format that we're doing, make sure to subscribe to our channel because... Because why? Because... You don't want to miss anything what they're doing. Okay, I'm Leroy. I'm Elena. And this has been the Leroy and Elena Show. Coming straight to you on the channel that makes Tolkien relevant again and beyond. Bye! me